Good morning, good morning. Welcome to 4x8 Paper Stuff. We are in day two of our October Daily, which is a book report on the Halloween Party by Agatha Christie. Now, when I... I, I, I think I've already said yesterday that this my goal is to be rusty and crusty and auditioning. This is my audition tape for Tim Holtz Makers. Not really, not really. Um, but I am highly inspired by some of their issues and some of their techniques. Um, I'm not into the flowers. I'm not into, I don't have all the inks and all that. So I, I make it up as I go with the tools that I have. And um, yesterday, my um, prompt was just the book, the title of the book, uh, The Halloween Party by Agatha Christie, which was in 1965. 69, 65 or 69. I can't remember. Released. So I'm backing that piece of paper, that um, page. That's yesterday's. Um, I'm backing it with a piece of craft paper that is the same size as my journal. Coincident coincidentally. Um, anyhow, so I am going to, today the prompt is Hercule, Hercule Perot. I will probably say it wrong and differently every single time I say it. I already apologized yesterday. I'm still, I'm going to apologize every day this month, I'm sure. Um, neither French nor Belgium or American at times can't speak any of it. Um, but anyhow, so today the prompt is our detective, our, our Hercule, Hercule Perot. Um, Perot. I don't know. I can spell it. Um, anyhow, so... Uh, he, he jokingly, I am highly influenced by the British, the BBC's version of this, um, character and the one that is David, I can't remember his name, David Suchet, which that might be French too, Suchet, I don't know what his name is. I love the way he played the character. I just love it. Um, he, he personifies everything in that book to me. Um, in any of the books up with this character. Um, so I'm highly influenced by him, but I did not want to use his image because I'm quite sure the BBC would like put a cease and desist on me. But um, if they knew I was here. So anyhow, all of my props and pieces of this um, book are things that I've had, things that I made all last month. Um, some things like this black and white polka dotted wrapping paper, tissue paper I had, I've saved it for like two or three years and I'm using little bits here and there. But when I tried to get a straight edge ripped, it didn't rip the black dots. So I have these black dots that are kind of like hanging out, which is fine, fine. It, but anyhow, so my pocket for today, every pot, every day will have a pocket with the journaling and my journaling is just a recap of the chapter from the book. Um, and, um, so this is my pocket this time, which is a, uh, tip in a double sided tip in that has a little slit on the side. That's where the journaling will go. So I'm kind of trying to look at this. The black dots don't come off. <laughs> that's awesome. So I was trying to work with that. Um, so I'm, I'm covering up my book text, most of it. But it's tissue paper, so it's coming through a little bit. It shows through, which is fine by me. That's also another planned effect, right? Right. Um, but so today it was me just getting into the swing of this book. It takes me a couple days, um, but this is so much fun. Um, and trying to make it a little rusty and crusty, but a little Halloweenish and a little bit f Belgian. Um, and British and do Agatha Christie justice. So, um, cause she might be looking down watching me, who knows? Um, quite an amazing lady. Look her up on Wikipedia. Wow. Um, so I have tissue paper and I have a book page that was painted many moons ago. The green, it's actually green. Um, it's like a slate green. And so I'm going through my things and I had already printed out a map of Belgium. And um, I'm going to kind of tear it in rough places, tear the bordering countries off so that I can fit it on this page. 
and um, I managed to get it on, but I just kind of wanted it to be in the background because he's always, he's very proud of his country. Um, he had to leave, uh, his character, Hercule, had to leave after World War One, and he went to London. And um, I don't know if they say ever say why he had to leave, but I'm sure it had something to do with the war. Uh, and I think he was a detective in the war. I have to look that back up. I don't exactly remember. So anyhow, everything is going to be roughed up and grunged with uh, green, black. This is called library green from archival. I think that's from Ranger. Um, and then my Neo Color 2s come into play towards the end where I use um, a brown and another green and uh, black also. And I use my... Um, Stabilos also, the brown and the black. So there's a lot of tiny bits, tiny, 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 tiny bits at a time of layering and adding lines as if, as if somebody found this book report, you know, in an alleyway someplace and a car had ran over it and somebody walked on it with hiking boots or something, you know, because um, I'm sure that would have happened. But so I'm just... Um, Taking my time, grunging tiny bits at a time, adding things that I've already painted, already um, played with last month, and day two, I'm still having the time of my life. <laughs> day two. But I will, I will have, I've been so excited to do this. I had so, I had like three or four other Halloween things planned starting like in April, Um not planned, but just the idea. How can I make this work? How can I make that work? One of the ideas I still want to do, I'm not telling you because I still might do it next year. I was afraid I couldn't do it. It was combining two topics and I couldn't give it a, a good enough justice. I need another year under my belt of practicing and merging and creating uh, to make this one work. So I'm holding out on that. But this came, I got into a big... Agatha Christie, British comp, British detective show binge, probably in July. And my friend out in California, when I went out there in March, she was reading them. I was watching them on TV, even back then, just a little bit. Then I got obsessed about July. Um, and I was like, that's what I could do. Well, then I looked up, I was trying to figure out which book I wanted to do. So I looked up her titles, her Agatha Christie, and I found Halloween Party. I'm like, well, okay, well, that is perfect. So I bought the book. I read it. I'm like, okay, that's great. That's great. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. And uh, started my mind going down the rabbit hill, the rabbit hole of creating an Agatha Christie book report. Then I heard or saw somewhere that they were making a movie. I'm like, what? What? So, uh, yeah, Kenneth Branagh made a movie. And I guess he's made a couple other ones. I don't know. I'm, I'm not a fan of his, big time fan of his. No, I admire his acting skills, but they're not, I'm not a fan of his. And I'm like, okay. So I, I was telling my husband one morning and um, over coffee and he goes, well, you want to go see it? I'm like, well, I don't know when it comes out. So let's go. Let me find out when it comes out. Well, anyhow, long story short, we went and saw it the other day. It's good. It does not follow the book directly. Um, and it's a little bit different. There's a lot of the same characters are in it, but not as the, their, their characters are different than what they are in the book, but they're using the same names. Um, they combined a couple things and left out a couple things and blah, 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 blah. But it, it's, it's a decent movie. Um, it's a def it, going to the movies these days. My husband and I haven't been to a movie in forever. Now I'm in South Carolina. I'm in the United States. And our movie experiences are weird. First of all, we had to get a second mortgage on the house to get to the movies. A matinee for two people was like $27. A matinee for an hour and a half it was ridiculous. Um, and then that didn't include the fee, the food which we only got a drink, um, and 
that did that also included a five eighty nine processing fee because I bought our tickets online. That was insane, and they called it a processing fee. No, they called it a convenience fee. I'm like, well, it's convenient for me, and it's very convenient for you since I didn't have anybody working in a ticket booth anymore. But I'm like, how can you charge me more for that? I mean, it was just, we sounded like old people. We were complaining because it was too loud. We were complaining over the price. We were complaining about having to stand in a certain line because the other line belongs to members only. And to get refreshments, I mean, you could buy beer, you could buy wine. The chairs moved when there was loud noises in the script. It was, it was like two old people come to town. I mean, it was just crazy. But the movie's good. So much so that I called my friend out in California and I said, go see it if you can, which she's had a crazy summer, um, very crazy summer. And um, they ended up going the next day. Her, The whole family went and they all liked it. Um, she's the only one that had read the book. In fact, I sent it to her. She still doesn't know who sent it to her. She thinks it magically appeared on her front porch. It was me if she watches these videos, which I know she doesn't. Anyhow, so yes, I'm adding tiny, 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 tiny bits of paint here tiny bits of paint there and when i say paint it's coming from a stabilo it's coming from a neo color too um did a bunch of the, the the majority of the painting i've done i did last month in september so um uh, this is all just putting all these pieces together like a puzzle and creating a junk journal uh, uh, for a book report and having the most fun as far as we are on day two so I just kind of decorated the, the envelope. It's not really an envelope. It's just the home for the journaling. And those are done. I just haven't pulled them all back out. Um, and I'm not going to do those in front of you. It's just me typing on a typewriter. Uh, excuse me, computer. Here I am showing my age again. A computer and I printed it and I'm going to stick it on little tiny journaling cards So um, that I made. So here I am adding tiny bits. Yes, that's a tiny bit. I'm going to wipe off most of it. Um, it just adds character again. It lies as if it were found in a mud puddle in an alley that had been ran over by a car and stepped on by a hiking boot. Um, that's the look I'm going for. So I don't know if you can see it. It really doesn't show up that much on the camera, but those are his monogram, HP, for Hercule Poirot. Her clue Perot. I don't, I don't know how to say. Anyhow, I'm trying to find a white pen here that I can put the center of the P in there just enough to make it look like it's there. Finally, just got out my tempera paint sticks. Hello. <laughs> Same old products. Um, but just enough there that it looks like a P. And uh, this is so much fun. So much fun. So much fun. I really think this needs to be added to any therapist's list of treatments just put everybody that's in an insane asylum with a piece of paper a book and a pile of paper so i'm i'm cutting anything up um using some of that pile from last month that i was trying to finish off um news flash the month isn't over yet i'm filming these ahead of time but just just enough color just enough um and and adding tracks and shoe impressions and you know the rat tracks that ran up it in the alley and that where it was left and found this rusty crusty and grungy and then this happened to be sitting there and it says france and i'm like not because he always um talked about he in the, in the bbc he always everybody thinks he's from france he goes i am from belgium that's my impression. <laughs> Anyhow, it's just fun. Fun. Um, makes me happy. Makes all these, justifies me having all these art supplies. Um, tiny bits of knowledge come through here and there with what layers to put first, finally, after 27,000 years of doing this. Um, yes, I'm a walking dinosaur. Um, just, just fun. Just fun. Um, I don't think I'm going to get on the makers team anytime soon. I don't think I want to be because then it's no longer fun. Now, then it's a job. Um, but just having the best time, the best time. Adding just lines where maybe somebody creased it on accident. Um, 
just so much fun. So much fun. Just adding a little character and little grunge everywhere I can. And fun times. Fun times. This book I made last month as kind of a trial to see if I liked this look and this effect. And I liked it so much that I continued to add a little bit of more pages here and there and a little bit more paper here and there. And I'm using it. Uh, it's just an envelope journal that I put together and added a couple tip-ins here and there and a couple extra pieces of paper here and there. And um, super simple, super simple. Uh, get all your trash out of the trash can. Don't ever throw it away. And you can make yourself a book report journal and have a grand old time. Um, anyhow, that image is of a dapper man. I, did, I, I can't use the BBC's image and I can't use Kenneth Brana. So I found a dapper man on um, Pinterest somewhere and that's my version of Hercule Perot. So much fun. So much fun. So um, still, still, still grunging it up. Some, ba some pages will have lots of layers and wrinkles and crust. Some will have lots of dust and, you know, shadows and dirt. Um, as rusty and crusty as I can get it uh, is what I'm kind of going for. I think Halloween allows that kind of stuff to look okay. Um, and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, so, thanks for watching. I'll be back tomorrow um, with clue or prompt number three. Thanks for watching. Bye.